It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked up. <laughs> You know how cute I always thought you were. What are you, stupid? What's the matter with you? I apologize. What's the matter with you? This is a review of the RHA uh, DAC Amp L1. Um, before we get into it too much, let me go ahead and give you a little um, impression of dealing with RHA. It goes something like this. I'm not joking. Um, this thing has a treble and a bass and a gain uh, rotary knobs, which is genius. Um, this is like the blessing and the curse. The blessing is the item, uh, which is what this is all about. But it's not, uh, because when you buy an item, you sometimes have issues and you got to deal with the company. Have I had an item, bought it, and dealt with it, and had no? This is my first interaction with this company, and it's been a, a horrible experience. Um, if you've ever been into a shop and you've ever wanted to get something or know something about an item that you're not familiar with, and then you say, hey, could you tell me more about this refrigerator? And then the guy tells you. Or uh, he says, wait a second, he grabs a brochure and he starts you know, looking at it. And you're thinking to yourself, I, I could... I could do that, man. I mean, you're, you're supposed to work for the company and know this stuff. Um, so I say, where exactly, um, because I love it and I'm going to buy it, where is the boost point uh, in the bass and in the treble knobs? I mean, so when I EQ, uh, I can consider what this is going to do later when I'm playing with it. And then I get... Now, uh, this item will uh, work in balance mode. It's got a balance connection and it's also got your standard uh, input. It's got a micro uh, B for go running into uh, Androids. It's got um, for iOS devices. It's also got um, optical uh, line out and you can select which one you're going to use with a selection knob down at the bottom. I use a Note 4 as a host, so I'm obviously doing this one. Um, the genius in this item, this puts 300 milliwatts into a 16 ohm resistance load. Um, so, it's uh, it, it feels like it should be more powerful. I believe that the Mojo is putting 685, maybe double uh, what this does power-wise. I might be mistaken, but and I'm pretty sure that's pretty close to what it is. Um, so it feels heavier and it, like it should do more power. However, uh, it, it seems like it's got enough. The genius of this thing, like I said before, is the fact that if I have this and I use it and I put it in my pocket, um, and because I'm, you, you got a Note 4 or you've got a, a smartphone or something and you, you don't want to pull it out and open up your music app and then change your EQ because your music while this is in your pocket um, literally in your pocket because once you remember that okay the trebles this knob the bass is this knob and then the gain then while you're in it's in your pocket you can one finger it on and start to increase the treble until you feel okay with it uh, especially the bass for me because I, I really like bass and I can start to rotate while it's in my pocket and I'm not this is all happening in a black dark pocket with nothing happening except my hand which is absolutely brilliant um, that this is this is a, just a genius idea that someone should this is like combining the old receivers um, that you used to see you know if you ever saw audio equipment from the 70s um, which is I mean Marantz it's a classic um, and they got a volume and a treble and a bass knob and maybe a balance. Um, and they're, they're 
really effective. Um, so this is a uh, this is kind of taking the old and the new. Um, and that somebody who didn't do this before really does blow my mind because having a hardware boost is one thing, but having this treble uh, adjustment is is man. If you increase the bass and you feel like you're you're it's getting a little too warm in there, uh, you can turn up the treble, and you, you you're doing this without ever taking anything out of your pocket because you you remember very quickly that the front knob. Okay, this is the front of the device. I feel it with my finger. Here's the okay. That's the treble, and you start. You know, rolling it. Okay, bam. And if you've already got an EQ set um, with your device, then this is going to roll over that. And in addition to that, so you don't need to worry about it because I've already done this because I've got my my standard unit, uh, which is the Sony PHA3, and on a Note 4 that I use, which is this is my main rig. Um, I, I have this set very specifically with the Neutron EQ, um, but if I want to change it, I have to open and look at it and uh, go through everything. If I have this on top of my Note 4, um, and I have an EQ on Neutron, which I've already tried, and I would like a little more bass, I can just roll the bass down. And I did it, and it works, and it works really well, so they placed the thing well so um, it, it's retailing for about six hundred fifty dollars in Japan which is I think too expensive for a DAC amp balance everything um, and uh, but I mean to consider what Sony's asking for its newest stuff and everything uh, you know price and, and value is determined by the buyer and if people are gonna buy this at that price then that means it's worth that price so uh, companies set prices and then people either bite or they don't um, I asked for how much I would have to pay for this because being a part let's let's be clear me doing this I got Christmas going on um, I got a life and there's other people that they they love to do these tours I I want to know, this is an information gathering expedition for me, but nothing else. This is not thrilling, this is not exciting, this is not fun. This is me being able to say when someone says in a thread, and let me tell you something RHA, I'm talking to you right now. The IEM and the base set threads really do have over a million views, a million views. There's not a lot of threads on HeadFi that got a million, there's maybe 20 in its history. Um, and I'm combining two threads, but a lot of the same people occupy both of them. A million views, you know. Eighty percent of that has got to be off a of site. And if somebody asks me, it could, where exactly is that base boost anyway? That's a really, really regular question. Um, and it would be absolutely typical. And right now, uh, two days later, after asking exactly, hey, you know, where is it? Thinking that this is going to be a simple question. And I get a, hey, we're busy and I'm going to send a... That's like the guy with the refrigerator uh, saying, you know, grabbing the brochure and looking at it. You, you guys don't know where the treble and the bass is? That, that, that's not very inspiring. So I ask where that is and I get... And then I ask about, you know, where's the price uh, for me? Because I'm doing a... I'm, I'm doing you a favor because I'm taking my time to do this. If you think you're doing me a favor uh, because of what people say in threads, then you can't possibly think that. You know that this is, you're getting a lot, you're getting advertisement, and uh, I'm giving this five stars, and I'm gonna wreck it, and it's gonna become in pictures, and it's gonna be direct result of people coming in, sending me PMs, or in my I thread saying, hey, is this gonna be enough to push this? And uh, where exactly is that, that dial? So. I ask you, how much is this going to cost me? And I'm hoping that they consider the fact that I got to ship this, and I'm in Japan, and I get this. Um, the service from the company is, to me, uh, has been terrible. It's easy to you know make nice boxes and to make brochures and to make a. It's not easy to do this. This is a, this is pretty uber. Um, I ask a simple question about where the boost point is in the treble and the bass um, and I'm 
it's two, we're 48 hours later and I, I've got nothing back and I, I, I kind of ranted in the thread um, and uh, th that really didn't do anything um, I did that to cord I, I baited cord I'll admit now um, cord was not responding to me about the mojo's output power into 32 ohms and I kept saying what is it and nobody said anything so then I come in I say you know what I think e 18 has got more power and then BAM uh, you know within an hour uh, the guy from cord came in with exact uh, load specs and power inputs uh, into I believe 32 so that when people start quoting the 685 or whatever it is that came at the very first time from me pushing them with a false claim that I didn't know was for sure false but I knew it was going to provoke them because I was pretty sure that the mojo wasn't inferior to the E18 power stage wise and it, in fact it wasn't and they were they were having none of that and they came right in so yesterday I kind of re released a little bit of the rage uh, in RHA and I thought someone's gonna come in and say number one the price for you depends on blah 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 and number two the base and the treble are here and here and it's been two days uh, since the first time I asked and yesterday after I got upset and I still can't tell you where the space boost is. Does it matter? Uh, it, it does and it matters more that nobody can tell me where that is. That the people that are setting this all up and sending these things worldwide can't tell me basic things. Uh, you, you've got a base and a treble knob that people are going to use um, with very expensive items and, uh, and w where is the boost man? Um, if I go to FIO, I can see graphs, I can see comparisons to other FIO items. Uh, th th they're absolutely brilliant. Um, do I wreck this item? Uh, let me say this. I am going to get this item um, sooner or later. If, if I'm not satisfied with the, the price that they offer me, and I'm going to check with what they offer other people, um, because I the somebody gave a good review and they got quoted and appraised and they said they're watching all the videos and and I got a video of that uh, IEM and I, I think it's 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 not not very good at all uh, and uh, they didn't make any mention to the post that I just made asking about the specs on this thing so you know iFi says we you know we're looking for friends that's what they said to me in a private mail and uh, that really kind of bummed me out because I, you don't need friends man you need people uh, who are going to give honest opinions because the people out there in the public have their doubts about people that do reviews because what's their motivation as you can see this far into this video uh, th this company is in no means going to be happy with me um, and I, I give zero craps about that um, I want this item uh, and I want to know exactly where this stuff is and I want to know what my price is and why should I get a better price than you Mr. Public Man, I gotta, I gotta wait to get this stuff. I gotta do this listening stuff. I gotta actually spend the time to listen to it. You think that's fun or a hobby? I got a job, man, and I got a girlfriend, and I got a life. So this takes time out of my thing. So the present for me is to get a financial consideration to do this. Um, and I don't know what that consideration is, even though I asked that four days ago via PM. So. Uh, you don't need friends, RHA or iFi. You need people that tell you the straight dope. Uh, and you need people that are representatives that have all of their eggs lined up uh, carefully and in a row so that when somebody like me comes in and says a very basic question, where is the boost point in the treble? Sounds like, you know, 6 to 7 or 6 to 9K to me. 6 to 7 and the boost in the base sounds like 50 to 65 but what is it exactly someone's gonna ask me many people will why can't I give them an answer I'm supposed to be the person representing in the base head community an item that's definitely going to be popular with them and I can't get an answer from you guys now do you want to know how it sounds um it's like a joke because it depends on what your drivers are the, 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 the this is putting out a clean signal um, it's got dual DAX do I think that makes a difference no it doesn't make the you know the iFi has dual burr browns is that better than a mojo with the single uh, FPGA or whatever thing that's got no it's not um, so having dual DAX is not 
special. Um, it does sound very, very nice, and I would like to have it. Not because it's better than this, and I'm not going to sell my PHA-3, I'm going to keep it. But for when I go out, and I put this thing in my pocket, and I want to, you know, oh, that song needs more bass, and I just stick my hand in my pocket, and I roll the bass knob, I just made my life easier. And I'm listening to high-quality sound, and I'm able to interact with it in a way that there is no other device that is, is easy to do as this is and also it's got the treble too so a lot of things have bass switches um but then you know people switch on and off and like that's too much i can't i can't hear the mids anymore this this will give you compensation because you can do the treble if you boost the bass a little and you think oh, i i can't hear that symbol or the the something in the upper registry and you can compensate with the and do all of this in your pocket so it's absolutely brilliant and it's a shame that Fio didn't come up with this because if I asked Fio a question, Fio would tell me. I, Fio, Fio, Fio's a trip. Let me tell you something. Um, the Chinese companies are getting really good with customer service. Not giving stuff for free, not, not the stuff that people are imagining in their paranoid minds, but just the basic stuff. If I send a mail to Kayan, uh, Kayan's going to send me an answer. Uh, I, by the way, my K and I five review was not very great, and uh, the guy he didn't care. Who am I? Who are you? We're just people. It's a it's a to totality of information, and if a lot of people like something, it'll probably influence other people, and if a lot of people don't, it will influence the other way. And if you got a mixed bag, then it's going to appeal to certain people. The Chinese companies are getting that. They know that you know. Don't sweat the people that don't like your stuff because there'll be five others that do. So when I say I don't like the i5, I don't care. I got I got a good rapport with Andy Kong. He's a good guy. Um, I respect him very much for not treating me any differently after he saw that I wasn't a fan of the i5. Um, that the, the KN doesn't have this is 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 so, kind of crushing my soul because I would know exactly where this stuff is uh, and I know exactly what my discount would be. Uh, and I would share with you in the video exactly what my discount is for full disclosure, so I could say how much am I going to pay for this? I'm gonna pay, 90, you know, this. I can't even tell you because I don't know because they won't say because it. Are they waiting to see what this review is before they tell me what it is? They said that it depends on the Japanese distributor, but they run the company and they sent this stuff to me. It the 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 parcel said it came from England. That's what it said. This wasn't shipped from Japan. It was shipped from England. So. If they're sipping this from England to me, I don't know what the hell the, the Japanese distributor's got to do with it. So I want to buy this thing. I want to know what the price is. They can't tell me. They won't tell me. Um, where's the boost? I need to know this to tell other people. They won't tell me. It's like this. It, it's 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 been not a fun experience. And if you read watching this and you're thinking oh, I'm going to give this a thumbs down, hey, you can kiss my butt. Um, I'm going to wreck this more than you will. More people are going to ask me about this than will ask you. It's a, you're joking, right? That, that, there's, there's Dan Ba, uh, there's a few people on HeadFi that I could count on one hand if four of my fingers had been chopped off that might get asked more about this stuff than I do when it relates to, you know, using something with a phone. Um, so I'm going to get a lot of people asking me about this and I'm going to tell them, I love the item, the company, I don't know, it may be personal, maybe they're just, they're going through a change with staff and the staff doesn't know what they're doing, uh, they don't like my attitude, um, whatever, that really is a bad thing because it shouldn't matter what my attitude is. i taken good care of the unit that they sent me, I'm giving an honest opinion, it sounds fantastic, it doesn't matter what the genre is because you can adjust it, the concept is brilliant. Um, I'm going to wreck it to lots of people. I'm absolutely not pleased with the service. Um, what is my discount? Don't know. Haven't known. Been days. Where's the boosts? Don't know. Haven't known. Days. Um, it's like pulling teeth. And I'm supposed to put this stuff here like this and set this card up and make it and take pretty pictures and like some kind of a punk. Like I'm some kind of a uh, tool of their uh, arsenal and uh, the companies have said that before they've got their A and their their B level reviewers and they use them in 
different things. I've told you guys that before. Um, and I'm, I'm certainly not A level for these guys. And I'll be honest with you, RHA wouldn't want to be um, until you guys get your stuff together. I, I have no interest in your stuff. I, I, I would not ever buy the T10s or the T20s. I wouldn't buy your ceramics. Um, I would buy this and I want to buy it and I asked you and I told you and uh, I will make a notation under the video about what I paid for this when you let me know what it is and uh, uh, like I said I hope it takes in consideration the fact that I live in Japan and I gotta pay for shipping to send this to the next person so not only did I take my time and I'm gonna wreck this to people um, I'm paying to do this so uh, get your stuff together man Seriously, call Andy Kong from KN and ask him how to run a tour because you guys don't know what you're doing. And that's a shame because this is a fantastic item. Do I wreck it? Um, come to me and ask me and, I, and I'll tell you what I think. It's going to get five stars, so that, that kind of speaks for itself. This is the RHA DAC Amp L1. It's a brilliant concept uh, in idea and they executed it very, very well. Um... It's a little bit pricey. That's not my thing, though. It depends on what you think the value of a dollar is and uh, what you're going to buy. How does it sound compared to a Mojo? Uh, sounds very similar. It doesn't have a really wide presentation. Um, it's got good detail retrieval. So it's, it's very similar to a lot of the stuff that's coming out now. The gap is getting very small between items uh, in the price range. Between, you know, 300 and... Uh, $800 when it comes to this stuff so not enough to say this is better than or less than most items uh, am I selling my ph3 no I love this one um, but you know people are gonna say you know which which amp DAC should I get and this is probably gonna be on the top of the list of the ones that I start wrecking so uh, and I'm gonna put a disclaimer of you know good luck with the company uh, because like ASG, either this is something that's slightly personal and that, that nobody's going to have any problems or it's genuinely an issue with the company growing, uh, you know, materially but not in a functioning business sense. There's something terribly lacking to go from the KN tour to this tour within one week and to have such a different experience with the people that I'm dealing with. So, you know. You, you wanna you want the specs uh, do what people do and and, and, and go to rha.com and see their many many pages of, of beautiful images it's basically 300 milliwatts into a, a 16 ohm uh, impedance and I believe it's uh, like 28 milliwatts into a 300 uh, ohm impedance uh, if I'm not mistaken and it's dual DAC uh, it's balanced it's got uh, it's very well made, it's very stout, and uh, you ought to get a listen to it if you can.